so today I'll be showing you how to uh, put a, uh, use a skybox in unity 2018 the latest one first we are going to create a new project we are naming it skybox test we'll be using the high definition window pipeline asset and then we won't be uh, taking in the adding the assets from here we'll be downloading it in directly from the asset store just wait for it to load up after it's loaded we can see that the high definition render pipeline is being used at this moment so since we do not need all of this we'll be deleting all of them we'll be starting with a clean project and a new scene After the scene is deleted, we'll, we'll create a new scene, an empty scene, and as you can see the skybox is applied because we are not using the HD render pipeline at this moment. So what we are going to do is save the scene and then look at the ca main camera game object and you, and you can see the skybox is applied. But when you switch on to the HD render pipeline right now, that is going to change. We're just going to grab the HD render pipeline asset, which is there from before in Unity. You can create your own asset if you want. And as you can see, as soon as it is applied, the HD render pipeline asset the skybox vanishes there's no option for a skybox and in the lighting uh, tab uh, you cannot apply the skybox the default skybox is also not applied so what we do is we go on to the asset store and grab a free skybox So we type sky and we select free only and we go and select the free sky box. I already have this downloaded so I'll import it. It's by Boxophobic and it's a cube map sky box. After it's applied, after it's imported, you can go into materials and you can see all the materials are pink. That is because uh, the HD render pipeline does not support the default shaders. So you have to upgrade the materials from here. You can go on to the render pipeline settings, upgrade project materials. After it's upgraded, it'll be it will become like normal what you are used to the HD render pipeline uses the lit shader so first we are going to create a game object we will name it skybox and then we will add a component that's volume script it's already there just search for it we will create a new profile by default you will create a skybox profile We'll add component override HDRI sky. Enable enable all the settings, and then select the polyverse case that is which we imported. It's in the textures folder, and as you can see, it's a cube map showing the sky box. So we'll enable all of the settings. After that, we'll add visual environment at the sky type and we're going to select HGRI sky and as you can see as soon as it is as it is selected the sky box turns to the one that we selected the blue skies 
from voxophobic and this is when you make it global it works similar to that uh, the post processing volumes which if you make it global it applies to the whole scene and if you make it uh, not global then it applies to a certain area in which you can add uh, box colliders or something and you can add in fog volumetric exponential you can also select procedural sky which is useful for day and night timings and you can you have to disable HDR sky select procedural sky enable sun disk sun size sun size convert convergence atmosphere thickness sky tint make it a little bit purplish reddish ground color change it a little bit brownish kind of change the exposure the multiplier update mode is enable it and the fog type none so this is a procedural sky this is also being applied globally and as you can see I have just uh, dragged in the directional light in the sun, the sun option and lighting data SSAO you can the SSR you can enable if you disable it it goes back to default select none it goes to none then you can select HDRSKI but it won't come since the HDRI is disabled the main camera still have the, has the same options select the procedural sky and we will just adjust a little bit of the multiplier atmosphere thickness and we can move around and we can see the sun over there as soon as I disable the sun disk goes on off and on like it's not there if I disable it then it goes back to the normal sun size and it can enable HDR sky so we get back to see skybox that we imported so thank you this is all that I wanted to show you